Some people speak of freedom of expression. Freedom of expression. Again, does this imply that I am free to express myself in any way I please? No matter what my expression causes of harm to others, that is not freedom in Islam. Because that freedom, that means that I am allowed to express myself in any way I want, regardless of the extent of harm it may cause to me or to others, that's not freedom, that's bondage. Subhanallah, our deen teaches us that every time you harm someone, every time you cause harm to someone, direct or indirect, you become his or her slave. <laughs> Did you know that? Maybe not. How is that? Because when you do harm to someone through your freedom of expression or of action, if you commit harm against someone, then it is a violation of his or her rights. That's a dhamb. That's a sin. Dhambun fi haqqi ibadillah. It's a sin uh, in relation to the rights of the creatures of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the only way to liberate yourself from the consequences of that sin in front of Allah Azza wa Jal on the day of judgment and in this dunya also because dhunub, sinning, violating the rights of others or the rights of Allah Azza wa Jal always, always, always has consequences in this dunya and in akhirah and in particular when there is no tawbah and what does tawbah mean tawbah if i violate the right of allah azawajal if i violate the right of another individual tawbah's essential pillar is to go to that individual and you free the word is tastahillu minna aw taj'alu nafsaka fi hillim minna and تَجْعَلُ نَفْسَكَ فِي حِلٍ مِّنْ You make yourself in a state of freedom from him. Hill is when you untie. In other words, you untie yourself from him in other, or her. And that means when I committed a violation of the right of someone, when I caused harm to someone else, if he or she does not forgive me, then I am always held in bondage. I'm the slave of that person. Committing a dhamb leads to slavery. And until and unless that person says, go, I free you from your responsibility to me, from your accountability to me, unless he or she says that and he or she means it, I am held in bondage. That man is my master or that woman is my master because he or she also has the will and the choice to say, no, I don't forgive you. And then I remain in bondage. My freedom depends on him or her saying, go, you are free. And then Allah Azza wa Jal forgives me. And if I violate the right of Allah Azza wa Jal, Allah Azza wa Jal may choose to forgive me. But the rights of human beings are not forgiven until and unless the person whose right was violated forgives me. My point is that is that which is called freedom of expression, if that expression uh, is taken in independence from what it causes to others, individuals or groups of individuals of harm, that is bondage, as we just have established, not freedom. Of course, if our view of life, if the, the view finder that we use to look at life is like that of a cow, and I come back to our concept of the behemi self and so on, yes, I don't see these things. If I view life from the perspective of a hyena, yes, I don't understand these things. But if I view life from the perspective of a abd of Allah Azza wa a human being who is very clear about his or her objective in this life and his or her ultimate purpose in this life, 
certainly my freedom of expression does not mean I can express myself in any ways. Freedom of expression means, oh yes, I can express myself in pornographic ways. That's freedom of expression. Freedom of expression to some also I can, means I can express myself in a way when I curse and I yell and I argue and I confront with hostility and I demean and I belittle and I don't care about the feelings of others. I am free. I am free to buy what I want to buy, <laughs> to watch what I want to watch, to write what I want to write. That's not freedom. That leads to harm. That leads to harm of self and harm of others. I would like to say more about this, but 